It wasn't supposed to be live, live. That's weird. Or was that not showing up? No, well, let's see. Did anyone see me punching in angrily on my phone screen? few audio sync. I uh, recompiled the uh, OBS software. Apparently a new version came out that's supposed to fix some issues. So I'm hoping maybe those issues were synchronization related. Alright. This is one very messed up iPhone success. Audio is good. Okay. Anthony Jabari. Good, good, good. Uh, watching Rossman's real estate videos, yes. It'd be good when that saga was finally over. I mean, this is a serious delamination going on here. So, definitely one smashed up success. So let's crack this open. Supposedly it doesn't charge or anything like that, which is no great surprise at all. I wonder if the pentalobes, why am I using that pentalobe driver for? You pay $80, I expect to use the expensive pentalobe driver. Okay. I'm just so used to using the 20 cent one. Oops. Come on. There we go. Uh, where is my other tool? Hmm. Hey Cormac, morning. Geneva, Fasas. Hey Christina. Alright. Ah, there we go. I was looking for my spudger. So I'm not really sure what to expect on this. I'm just going to first up get the all this sort of gear off so I can have a better look at the circuit board. Let's see whether there's even any hope at all for this. It's not as bad as some I've seen, but you can get tricked. You can think, oh yeah, that's not so bad, and then you find out that... Wow. Let's see, did that, uh, the battery's been crushed up. I've worked on this one before. You can tell by the fact that it's got my color coding there. Uh, let's see, we went out Phillips head. Let's see what's going on with this home button. I mean, I doubt we'll ever be using this again once we've simply got the data off it. But I'm kind of curious to see what sheared off, and it looks like it was the screen side that sheared off, thankfully. Yep. Okay, so home button's intact. Let's put that up there. Throw you in the trash. Hey, Greg M. Apollo, yeah, it's yeah, another nice day. The days are running out, they've been nice. Won't be long, and I won't be able to do any of this while the sun is shining. And eventually it'll get to the point where I won't even be able to come down here until probably around about 10 o'clock at night. It'll just be too hot. Okay, battery out. That's a fairly moderate kick in the circuit board there. Best maybe we've got a short um, from a angry cat perhaps. Okay, I just need to move these along so that I don't mix up my screws. Then again, like I said, it's not like I'm going to be putting this back into operation, so long screw damage isn't really going to be a high risk. Hey Sonia, welcome. Hey, Jacob Anderson, thanks for dropping in. Got a missing screw. Some slightly broken off flexes. Uh, 
Oh, by the way, regarding that uh, Wi-Fi chip that I was working on last night, the one that I ground down and was having a look at, but couldn't seem to get it to stop shorting out. Well, I went the whole way today, and I took the diamond grinder to it a little bit more and actually went down through the that exposed die that we were looking at. And it cleared out the short. But what was amazing is that when I plugged it all back in, went to use it just to check it on, and expecting only get mobile service, the Wi-Fi still worked. It connected. Everything worked fine. So I don't know what portion... I don't know what portion that... Um, the thing that I ground out was maybe it was Bluetooth or something else, but yeah, amazingly, Wi Fi worked. I verified it, and so it's like okay, fair enough. So, customers got their phone back and now they're using it. I did warn them, of course. I said, you know, it, it has had come on, dump truck, move on. Yep, I said, you know, it's basically had half its brain chewed out, it's still running, but I can't make any promises about how good or bad it's going to be so don't depend on it but feel free to use it until otherwise yeah very much twilight zone stuff uh, that's really mangled up there not a hundred percent sure what I'm looking for at this point They said it doesn't charge. What I'll do is... Let's see... What will I do? Run over my power cable? Why not? I'm just going to see if it responds at all. Absolutely... 10... 180, 110... Yeah... Okay, it doesn't look good. It's doing about 25 milliamp. So, hmm, I'll just get another battery and a screen, and who knows? Maybe we might be lucky. <sighs> iPhone 6s. Success is on the floor. Uh, I didn't check. I'm just going to go with a straight in attempt here. That's actually a 6 screen, not a 6S, so I'll be happy if this just fires up. That'll be nice. just fires up. Well, that kind of kills the fun completely. That'd be a waste of time. Waste of a stream. I really hope this goes because uh, I could do with... Yeah, that's hilarious. It's come up passcode So maybe it was just a cable fault or something in there. I'm just uh, checking to see if I can get remember what the pin code was that they gave me. Could have sworn I wrote it down on the. Yeah, guess not. Ah, phooey. I hate that. I hate it when you have to, when you start these up, and it'll give you the passcode screen the first time, but thereafter, unless you've got the home button in, it's not going to. Come on, power up. Ooh, Taco Bell. Hmm. Hey, ITM2. I see a lot of people eating Taco Bell, and uh, I do wonder if they're any good. I mean, when it comes to tacos, we just make them at home. 
But, uh, let's see. <laughs> Passcode works. Touch ID is no good. Funny that. It doesn't even exist. And you go straight to display and brightness, so auto lock to never. I'll push it up a little bit. Ah, that's a crack up. It works. So maybe something in there was. Ooh, I can feel it getting hot there. Yep, yeah, it's getting hot. Alright. Um, because of the urgency of this situation, I'm actually going to have to kill this stream and then go and sort this out now. And maybe I'll come back if it's still not going to give me data. So I'll be maybe back a bit later. Sorry, folks. <laughs>